This is a Rawlings Pro Preferred NP pattern. This is the Emery Glove Co. It has Cordura on it. It's like literally army backpack material. This stuff is sick. We'll get into that in a second. So the Emery is entering the glove gulag. Does it belong in single A, double A, triple A, or the major? Both of these gloves are kip leather, but they feel very different. Plus this is 11.75, this is 11 and a half. Can you tell which one is bigger? By the way, when this first dropped, it was called Batch Zero and it cost 350. You can see on the website, they normally do customs and it's like 300 for kip, 250 for steer hide. Honestly, for customs, I would say that that's like pretty average price. Before we talk about the actual break-in, the Emery is about to just blow the Rawlings out of the water for the actual weight test here. One pound, 5.3 ounces, 2.8. The, the glove is incredibly light, props to Emery. Just so you guys know, with the NP pattern, it actually has a little bit of like a Japanese style to it that really isn't gonna affect like our comparison. We're really looking at durability here, especially with heat versus hop. With that being said, I need to show you a little bit of how I broke this glove in. It took a lot longer than I would say your average glove, like this, for example. So during the break-in, I learned that I'm actually a big fan of the actual insides of the glove. That's why I'm really excited for the heat test because I think it'll do well. But with that being said, the break-in took a long time. At one point, just the two hinges here and here were the only thing broken in. So the glove felt incredibly stiff, but I was able to close it. So I did a ton of work breaking in the back of the glove and just the fingers, just everywhere you could possibly think of. And now the glove feels like it's actually broken in everywhere, not just the hinge. If you go to in the pinky, you can do two hinge break in, but I'm going traditional on both gloves. You can see definitely one hinge. Same thing here, break in one hinge. You guys, I gotta say, repping the Cordura here feels pretty dang cool. It honestly gives the same vibe as like a USA patch on your glove. I think that's cool, I think that's awesome, but it doesn't have anything to do with the actual glove. Let's just continue. Okay, heat versus hop. This is obviously heat. Now guys, ignore the duct tape on this glove. It was made for a pro uh, glove contract got extended with a different company, so he's not using Emery yet. Uh, you're just not allowed to see the name. Definitely getting some stingers, for sure. Dang, when you hit the pocket, it's pretty sturdy though. You can see, you know, hitting web, it definitely has like a deep part of the glove. Yeah, I mean, you can hit that web. It's not slinging back a ton though. It's not like bad. You know, your glove needs that. You need to have a section that's not gonna light you up. Oh, that one hurt. Yeah, I, dang, I'm super impressed by this, honestly. Heck yeah, let's go. It is extremely sturdy. Ooh, that one sling back a ton compared to the others. I think I just hit that perfect spot on that web there. All right, I'm gonna try a couple two in the pinky here. I mean, it feels really good. Okay, two in the pinky, I hit that pocket not the web, the pocket a lot more easily and there's, you know, sting free. Yeah, that's money. Honestly, the Emery is performing like amazing right now for the heat test. Let's go ahead. We're going to switch over to the Rawlings. Starting off traditional, pro preferred NP pattern. Let's take some. Yeah, that would have hurt more with the Emery. That one too, that would have hurt way more with the Emery. There's clearly more padding in this and therefore it's heavier. It just makes sense. This Rawlings feels so good. Yeah, I mean, these feel so good. They don't have nearly as much pull. Like the single post web here has less flex than our Emery does. Let me try to take one like purely off the web. Yeah, way less pull for sure. I'll take a few in a row just to see. Yeah, Rawlings has pull but less, and I'm gonna credit that to probably both laces and construction in general. As we know, this glove is just slightly heavier, which also makes it a little bit more heavy duty than our Emery. I'm genuinely impressed by the Emery thus far. Ugh, see, I don't like that. That's sinking a ton. Um, I'm getting a few where the ball slings back quite a lot, and I'm really not a fan of that, so I'm gonna take some with our Rawlings and purposely take as many as I can just off the web and see if it does the same thing. Going traditional, trying to hit the web here. Let's go. Yeah, it's just not the same. 
It has a little bit of pull, but not nearly the same. When it comes to these laces here, I'm a little bit torn because at first I thought there was nothing wrong with them. But then during the heat test, we kind of saw that the web was pulling out quite a bit. I genuinely believe that the laces aren't the problem, but more so just how the glove was actually laced up. For one, the web was looser to start than most gloves. Typically, it's all pretty taut. This one already had a little bit of that space everywhere. And then take a look down here. See how this is tied up? Really nothing special. But then our Rawlings here just has like a little bit more reinforcement down there. And this one performed quite well in the heat test. So with that being said, I have no worries or concerns at all about the laces. They also claim that the Cordura performs better in like rain, like it doesn't soak it up. So I don't know if that's actually true. Don't really know what to say with that. Honestly, you guys, I feel like this isn't any better than leather. I feel like it soaks it up just as much. It probably isn't soaked up as deep. Watch as we put it on like the web here. I mean, it kind of just looks the same, if I'm being honest. It's really not like water repellent or anything, but it definitely will dry faster than leather. Um, it's just something to note. It's not really that significant. I wouldn't put much thought into it. You guys, this is the hop test. What we're gonna be doing here is just showing how does the glove handle the really light stuff. It's just the opposite of the heat test. That's the whole point. So really basic stuff. I'm just looking to find out how much feel the actual glove has with light stuff. You know, when a ball's hit super lightly to you, or if it's like a diving play, sometimes you need to know whether or not you actually have the ball and where the ball is. So first of all, you guys, the glove is super light, like we said before. So it's super easy to whip it around just however you need to. That's a major plus. And then with that being said, honestly, it has like super average feel. It's not bad, it's not amazing. So the actual glove itself is extremely light, but the finger inserts in here are like heavy duty. And so that's making it so that there's just an average amount of feel for the actual ball. Let's go ahead, let's switch over to our Pro Preferred. This definitely performed a bit better in our heat test. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it doesn't take more than just a couple of little throws. The Emery has more feel than this for sure, okay? That's usually the biggest downfall to a glove that handles the heat test really well. It typically has a lot less feel. And it's not like this has no feel or anything, but this has a lot more padding, a lot more cushion than our Emery here. Guys, Emery's taking the dub here in the hop test, but just think about how good of a combination this is. If a glove is leaning too far one way or the other, there's gonna be major flaws. Honestly, this is a great blend between the two, and I'm just surprised at how much I'm liking this Cordura stuff. Okay, it's obviously super light, but I'm able to shape this glove as needed. It takes more work to shape this Cordura stuff than it normally does with leather, but it works. I have to comment on the actual shape of this thing. So the build, the construction, everything on this is like super, super nice. I'm like a very big fan. But then the actual shape of the glove is kind of confusing. It's 1175. The build here is a little odd. It doesn't feel like uniform. That's when I remembered that this glove was actually constructed here in the US by Emery's like master glove craftsman. The guys who normally make gloves like in their glove factory are the ones who are just absolute experts and really good at it. And even he's willing to admit that point is that's got to be why the shape is just a little bit wonky because everything on this thing is like near perfect when it comes to like quality but the shape is just a little goofy with that being said i won't critique the shape too much because the ones that are coming from the factory will actually have a little bit of a better result than this okay i feel like starting with the rawlings so we're gonna do that I'm honestly feeling like pretty dang confident with this. Yeah, this thing feels kind of money right now. I can 100% tell, but I don't have a lot of feel for the ball, honestly. And that's like extra surprising because I broke this glove in to have a lot of feel. The way I broke this glove in is so that I'm holding the ball. And uh, even with that, there's just not a ton of feel for it. Okay, so we have the Emery. Like I said, I wanna have more feel. That's really my biggest hope. And then just the glove's lightweight is like probably its overall biggest advantage. I've been going traditional this whole time. It feels pretty dang good, I'm not gonna lie. Let me show you something. Go ahead, hit me another one. As soon as the ball hits up like too far into the web here, the ball kind of disappears. So when it hits that spot where it slings away in the web, I can't feel it at all. So I kind of do have to visually see, do I have the ball? Now obviously, yeah, I know I have the ball, but it's those diving plays, those plays where you're reaching, boom. Let's go two in the pinky. 
see how it compares because it felt amazing in the heat test wearing two in the pinky confidence levels are out of the roof transitions feel beautiful i mean give me a few more i'm gonna try to test out transfers because honestly they feel really good thus far as i mess up literally every time i mess up as i'm talking about it I caught the ball initially, but the transfer was just weird because it hit the top of the web, it just disappears. I no longer have a feel for it like at all. That could be fixed probably pretty easily just by tightening it up. We haven't done that yet though. Yeah, I think you just can't sleep on like a combination of a glove being lightweight and comfortable. The like amount of confidence you have just throwing the glove wherever you need to. The, the, the Revlonex isn't even that light. It's close to average, but it is so, incredibly comfortable, not gonna fall off my hand whatsoever, that I, if the confidence is like out of the roof, this glove is so light and the comfort is good enough. Lot of confidence, really liking this. And it's definitely more comfortable too in the pinky than it is traditional. And that's where I feel like I'm thriving right now. Dang, that was a good performance. So guys, we have reviewed a ton of small brands in the past, and I gotta say, this Emery has actually impressed me a ton. Possibly the best small glove brand review we've had yet. With that being said, you guys, this belongs in AAA for sure. Who knows, maybe it can compete for the majors in a separate video. Now, of course, we have to rate the drip on this glove, so I'm gonna have like two different ratings here. So the proud American in me wants to give this like an easy 10 out of 10, but if I'm gonna be unbiased, I'm gonna give this like a seven and a half, eight out of 10. It definitely looks pretty cool, but the problem is, is it looks a little bit amateurish because there are some youth gloves that have a kind of similar material to this stuff. It's obviously nowhere near the same in actual quality, but it's gonna take it down a couple of notches because like I said, slightly amateur feel to it. But overall, I personally absolutely love it. In the end, I'm super impressed by the insides of this glove. That brings me to my Stilo. I wasn't so impressed by the insides of this glove to the point where I actually ripped it open. To see why, go check out the video. This is actually the first glove gulag video we've ever made.